Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day. Mark Burr brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day. Not only hump day, but it is also Fed day. This is the big day we've been kind of waiting for actually quite some time because this was actually at one time thought that potentially the Fed could ra start raising interest rates uh, starting at this meeting. Uh, however, that's the only thing that's on the dock is the, the announcement later today, uh, which will be about 11.30 uh, Pacific Standard Time uh, when the Fed gives their announcement. Uh, they give their uh, decision by 11 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time and then they give their announcement at 11.30 uh, uh, Pacific Standard Time. So a lot of markets will be kind of volatile in that period up until that point. Uh, right now the stock market actually started up higher. It was actually um, uh, going really good uh, after the B uh, Bank of Japan's announcement today uh, with a positive rate at negative 0.1%. But what they did was they're going to try to keep uh, made a commitment saying that they're going to keep uh, try to keep their treasuries, uh, ten-year treasuries, at approximately zero um, percent. And what that does is it creates a steeper curve, which uh, basically encourages uh, banks to lend more money out there to people, and which will hopefully stimulate the economy as well as uh, basically a almost a negative. Uh, inflation rate uh, over there. They are trying to bump up that inflation quite a bit and they're hoping this will help stimulate uh, the economy over there as well as bring up inflation. So they're getting raving reviews as a result of it. So stock markets around the world were going up. Since that time uh, this morning, uh, the stock markets pulled back a little bit waiting because basically they're waiting for the FOMC announcements. Um, it, they don't expect to raise rates, but there's always that possibility of a surprise move because uh, bulk of the uh, Fed governors are, are ready for a rate hike. Uh, out about 12, I think 10 of them are looking for a rate hike, where two of them want to hold. Uh, again, it, it all depends on Janet Yellen uh, as she's the final decision maker as to which way to go uh, in this uh, area. So this will be the big thing. Uh, it is about 12% chance uh, of them raising right, uh, the rates this um, this meeting, but they did raise the December meeting up to 60%. So there's a very good chance that they could be raising rates at the end of the year, uh, especially if they don't do it now uh, coming up there. So it'll be interesting to see how they respond after getting the news of the Bank of Japan's um, announcement. So uh, moving forward. Uh, here's the bond market. We've been having a really tough time with this 10-day moving average. As you can see, anytime we get up close to it, it, it keeps pushing us back. So we touched here, we dropped all the way down here. We touched here, we dropped all the way down here. Right now, we're kind of touching it and ha uh, we broke above it again. Uh, but been, right now, we're sitting right at that level right here. So we are a little bit better than where we left off yesterday because here's where we left off yesterday. From here to here, it's about nine basis points. Um, right now, I wouldn't say there's a really big change. Um, right now, the markets are all kind of waiting for the possibility of a rate hike or a rate decision as to what the Fed's going to do. That's going to be basically the market mover as to if we go higher or lower or not. All right, so stay tuned. It's going to be very volatile. If you guys want to uh, get more updates throughout the day, uh, stay tuned to my Twitter account. I will be sending updates on Twitter at Mike Bjork on uh, there. So. Uh, all right. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.